Okay, so I thought I'd do another edition of my song review series that I started. So Kelly Clarkson has released a new song, and it's called You for Christmas. And I listened to it twice, and after re-listening to it again, I don't go up for the song. I really don't, and it's sad because Kelly Clarkson, I think, is second best when it comes to Christmas music. Mariah isn't number one for me. But this just felt very uninspired. It felt very bland. I feel like they were trying to capture, like, the 60s kind of vibe with it, but it just failed. I thought that the chorus sucked on this song and everything. I didn't really like the key that she sang it in overall. The production didn't give song i was very surprised when i looked at the credits it's her andrew wyatt and mark ronson mark ronson produced it and so you would think this would be a smash but i'm just like she's released so many great christmas songs she has two great christmas albums you know we got the collab with ariana grande santa can you hear me which is phenomenal she has some great stuff but this song it was just uninspired it felt very flat to me i was just wanting more i don't know i was very disappointed like most of the stuff that she releases but this missed the mark for me Ariana Grande has released live versions of some of the songs from her Eternal Sunshine album and I really enjoy this album unlike a lot of people and so here are going to be all the songs that she did for this version so we got Intro Out of the World, Don't Want to Break Up Again, Eternal Sunshine, Supernatural, Yes and, We Can't Be Friends, and Imperfect for You. I kind of wonder why she didn't do the entire album and everything. I think some songs are kind of hard for her to sing like I Wish I Hated You, I completely understand that one but I I don't know, I kind of would have liked a live version of Ordinary Things, to be honest, because that song's growing me. But overall thoughts on this, I really enjoyed it. You know, a lot of people, myself included, said Ariana didn't really sing sing on A Son of Sunshine. And I feel like she hasn't really done that for a while. And so, you know, I still enjoy the album and everything. But what I liked about the live versions was that she went and she just added some extra flair onto it. She's taking different vocal choices. She's adding on some runs. So I feel like if you enjoy the original album then this just adds on to that experience so glad we got a live version of supernatural one of my favorites why didn't we get a live version of boys mine now i think about it because she performed it live but why wouldn't you just also add that on to the live see I don't know, but I'm, I'm glad she did this. And she basically said the reason why she didn't go out singing it is because she wanted to basically kind of tweak it live. And I get what she means because I think it was just like, you don't want to, you know, go all off on the album. And then when you sing it live, it's like really difficult for you to sing that after night after night whenever you're touring it. And so I guess I can see it from that perspective. But I mean, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I think Eternal Sunshine is a great album. And we're listening to it. I was just bopping all the words, you know, lip syncing and everything. And I'm just thinking, like, how do people not like Eternal Sunshine? Like, I honestly don't get it. Like, my friends talking about this is one of the worst albums of the year. I don't get it. I really don't get it. It's such a fun album. And I think it just kind of adds on to experience. So I loved it. And yep. Yeah. So that's this week's version of song review. Let me know what you guys think, though. Did you like, you know, any of these releases and everything? And let's continue the conversation.